Hello friends, Snez here, and first and foremost, before we get into the topic of returning, I just want to say I'm sorry for the last video. After re-watching it and skimming through a few critical comments, I now see glaring issues with it. While I do still stand by the majority of what was said, the issue is in how I said it and how I conveyed that message. The point of that video wasn't to assert that the Q&A team was responsible for bug fixing, that's just obviously not the case. Q&A, to my admitted limited knowledge, is responsible for reporting and verifying said bugs exist. The way I conveyed my experience with the Q&A team does not get this point across well, if at all, so I'll make one more attempt at explaining myself before dropping the issue. Though, the prior video will remain up in unlisted format as a reminder to myself to not be so hasty in making content like that. In either case, let me lay out the time. In June of 2018, a form third was made that reported the existence of a Thunderbreaker bug related to the skill Title Crash. This bug prevented players from animation cancelling skills by casting Title Crash following a skill while in midair. If attempted during this time, it would instead lock up player inputs until touching the ground, and upon touching the ground, the player would immediately cast Title Crash, either in the direction the arrow was held or if no arrow key input was given, the direction the player was facing. In October of 2018, a Nexon employee that was a part of the Q&A team responded letting the form know it would be looked into. Fast forward a bit, it is now April of 2020. The bug still exists. Another form post was made and a video regarding it. Players were encouraged to bump the form thread and make awareness for this now almost two year standing bug. In May of 2020, due to no response on the forms, I, among others, made a formal bug report through the support system to hopefully find a resolution. We were eventually told the bug was a functional part of the game. Fast forward again, it is now February of 2021, the infamous Thunderbreaker bug fix. A video regarding this bug fix was made, and due to the severity and impact of this bug fix, a good amount of the Thunderbreaker community believes the long-standing title crash cancelling bug was fixed as compensation. I believe this as well considering Ghibli, the community manager at the time, publicly posted on Reddit regarding this video, indicating it would be passed on to higher ups. Later that month, I was contacted by a Q&A member who I had no previous correspondence with. I was asked to provide further proof that this bug existed for GMS and prove that it was a feature of KMS. This Q&A member also posted their skepticism about the title crash cancelling being a feature publicly on Reddit. And the final conclusion was in patch version 220.3, fixed an issue where Thunderbreaker's title crash skill animation could not be cancelled mid-air. I don't think I have to go over how poorly the entirety of that timeline was handled. This wasn't just a one-off either. There have been other times when bugs that were reported do not get treated as such. Recently, flash and crash cancelling was bugged and didn't function correctly, but was deemed as functional when reported. Weird, but it's also fixed now, which is even weirder, and it was never mentioned in the patch notes. It was just suddenly fixed and operated differently during the Double Trouble patch. Also, I mentioned the Q&A team is responsible for verifying and reporting bugs. In most cases, a Q&A team is also responsible for verifying fixes to said bugs. The only reason I mention this is because in patch of version 239, there was a bug regarding Phalanx Charge. Fixed the issue where Phalanx Charge would put players in combat while active, which prevented players from swapping equipment. This was not fixed in that patch, and it is still not fixed currently. For reference, that patch went live in February, and it is now May, with no proper fix. If I'm cor correct about which team validates bug fixes, there's also issues there. I've also been told by others that the QA team is extremely hit or miss when it comes to reporting bugs. So it's not just my own personal experience. There are probably still many bugs which players have become complacent with because they were told it was functional or intended. I do want to stress, Q&A is not responsible for fixing the bugs, but they are definitely responsible for ensuring they get labeled as such. And that is where my issue is, because they've repeatedly failed to do so. In either case, I hope I didn't come off as abrasive or elitist this time. At the end of the day, I really just want resolutions to be found and a reliable functional game to play. Hopefully we can all agree to that. Hopefully the last portion of the video wasn't too hard or difficult to listen to. I was trying to be as monotone as possible so it, was, it didn't come off as offensive. In either case, I just finished my last final today. And as stated in the last video, no one truly quits MapleStory. So considering summer break is now upon me and I feel that I took enough time away from the game to mend my attitude towards it, I will be indulging myself again. I don't know what 
exactly that entails as my goals are still yet to be set. One of my ideas involved Kali. I was thinking of playing her in a solo progression style, and depending on how much I enjoyed the class, I would like to push for the harder bosses without ever taking a carry. I will be utilizing the entirety of my personal resources, though, so I'm not sure how entertaining that would be to watch. Another potential goal is attempting to do Kalos and begin working on acquiring the Eternal Gear for my Thunderbreaker. In all honesty, I really don't know how keen I actually am on that idea, considering I have been timing for a party to acquaint myself with the mechanics. I would really need to find a group I enjoy bossing with to even think of putting up with the misery that Kalos can cause. And the last potential goal includes pushing for a hard Saren clear. This will not be done until after the boss fight is made dramatically easier. I have no faith in Thunderbreaker's ability to do the damage that is required, as Saren is not a very DPM friendly boss. And those are the three potential goals I have thought of. I'm not going to lock myself to any of them just yet, but I'm sure I'll be able to make a, de a decision after I try out Kali. In either case, I believe I've covered everything I wanted to talk about. I've been gone for at least a few months, and I'm looking to return. Don't know how common videos will be, as I was never that consistent with them, but if I find a goal and I find something entertaining to upload, well, there will be content, at the very least. And with all that said and done, I will see you friends in the next one, whenever that may be. Bye-bye.